It's important that as a brand, NPR is known as being loved and trusted, that people can refer to us as being trusted. That's probably the most important brand aspect that you have to have in the news business. However, with things moving constantly, we need to be able to be accessible wherever our listeners want to be. So as things are moving along, be it coverage of what's happening in Washington, D.C., or something that's happening um, that one of our member stations are covering. It's essential that we are able to get that information to the listener where they are. People think of it as something that you tune into on the radio. However, we are so much more than that. We are, you know, you can access us on your smart speaker by asking Alexa. You can access us on your phone by streaming. You can get one of our apps through, you know, you can get our news through NPR One. I think we, as we celebrate our 50th year coming up in 2021, are thought of as this very sort of organic radio program. You know, we had our you know beginnings around the Washington Mall and the Vietnam War, which is where our sort of first coverage was, and people think of us as radio. But as we move forward with new technologies and new innovations and new ways for our listeners to get our content through, for example, podcasts, we've had this massive surge of digitally accessed content. And we have gone from being just purveyors of news, which is fantastic, to being creators of content which allows us to honor our brand as a storyteller, but also in new and different ways. So not just something that you tune in, but now you can download a 15 minute podcast and understand the world around you. Um, so that's an innovation that we're excited to take advantage of. And that's where we really see the future of the NPR brand is not just being national public radio, but rather a media company that is accessible on any platform.